What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and we've got an update that there is one state where there could be a new push for a federal unemployment extension. This is your unemployment update and your federal unemployment extension update. Now, as you guys know, September 6th was the cliff. It was the end of PUA, PEUC, and the $300 per week boost. All federal unemployment benefits have come to an end, and we've heard members of Congress say, we need an extension. We've seen a lot of people saying that over seven and a half million people have lost these benefits, and now is not the time as the Delta variant is ramping up and we're actually having more cases than we were this time last year. Well, you guys, we've got another voice coming out a new state take a look at this you guys just coming out Hoffman extended unemployment and living wages are a must now this is somebody that's actually running for governor in the state of New Jersey and they're saying that if they become governor they're gonna be applying more pressure to the president and to Congress to extend this out even further now let me know your thoughts in the comments down below could we see a dominoes effect of this if other governors get word and say hey yes push the federal government if they will fund this we will give more federal unemployment benefits to the seven and a half million people that have lost it on September 6th. Now, in addition to that, we're gonna be taking a look at this article right here, take a look. The Biden administration suggested that blue states extend unemployment benefits, but they all rejected the offer. Now, this article is gonna be giving us some insight into why it is that states, when President Joe Biden suggested they extend it out on their own with their own funds, said no, and that they want to, but they want the federal government to fund it. We're gonna be taking a look at this and also look at this chart in this article. This is very interesting. You can see that the vast majority of states with the highest unemployment in the nation are blue states and that the red states have a much lower unemployment rate. And also you can see faded are the ones that have ended it early. So we're gonna be taking a look at this. It's gonna give us some insight into that, you guys. Now, in addition to that, just wanna say thank you so much to all the people that have let me know that you're keeping me and my family and Houston, Texas in your prayers and everybody that's experiencing this tropical storm, Nicholas, as it is going through Houston. And right now I'm keeping in contact with my family. They're sending videos saying that there's a lot of rain. They haven't seen any flooding. Everything seems to be fine. And you guys, hopefully uh -huh. soon the flights into Houston will reconvene and I can come back from my trip and be able to see my family again, you guys. Now, I'll keep you up to date. Thank you so much, though, for all the prayers. We truly appreciate it, you guys. But let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as to unemployment today, September 13th, 2021. And what we're hearing about this new push to extend out federal unemployment benefits, trying to push Congress and President Joe Biden to continue it on, and also why it is that states are insisting that the federal government do this extension. So you guys, we're gonna dive right in, but before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second. If you like and appreciate these updates, don't forget, take a second, smash the like button, really helps out the channel a ton, just lets the YouTube algorithm know that you think I'm doing a good job, and in turn, they're gonna continue to promote my channel and my videos. Also, Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this. And if you think it's gonna help out other people, be sure to share it out on social media platforms. Now, in addition to that, don't forget, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. You can come join the viewing community, the Ram Fam, we like to call it. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff so you know what's going on. And don't forget, if you got any specific questions that you want me to answer, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3, which is by far the best way to get a hold of me if you got any specific questions you guys and yes I go through all those DMs it might take me a while I got a lot of DMs but you guys I will go through and I'll do my best to respond to your questions and help you out as best as I can but with that being said let's go ahead and dive right in gonna get you caught up on the latest on federal unemployment benefits as of today September 13th 2021 all right you guys so first up link in the description below to this article that just came out this weekend that says Hoffman extended unemployment and living wages are a must now the article says our campaign would like to immediately increase the minimum wage, a living wage, beginning at $22 per hour. And essential workers should be treated as essential and giving a living wage so that they are not struggling to survive. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. $22 per hour in the state of New Jersey. Now, in addition to that, it says, I know that you're wondering, what about the impacts on small businesses? Would they collapse by this increase in workers' payments? And the answer is no. If a small business were subsidized this payment until the economy equalizes, they would receive no net loss and be able to function more effectively with an energized and enthusiastic labor force. Now, let me know your thoughts. Does this resonate with you or do you think that Hoffman is just making some suggestions that the current governor has not already thought of? Now, take a look at this also. Unemployment is something that does not need to exist. The federal government has the ability to finance to provide a good paying union job to all 
unemployed people. So they're saying that there is no reason why we should have anybody without a job at this time. Now jumping down, take a look at this. Extending unemployment and raising the minimum wage would lift so many out of poverty. It would save so many lives. It is the right moral thing to do. Madeline Hoffman supports these policies while her opponents do not. Take a look at this. It is wrong for the governor to suspend the supplemental unemployment benefits now. We should extend them until there is no longer any need to do so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. All right, you guys, so link in the description below to this article and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this one. Now, the article says, the Biden administration suggested that blue states extend unemployment benefits, but they all rejected the offer. Now, the article says the Biden administration and congressional Democrats designed the largest benefits cliff in U.S. history and then tried to change the subject as over 7 million unemployment recipients saw federal benefits abruptly end on Labor Day. Now, meanwhile, the administration quietly offered the blue states hit the hardest an opportunity to continue their payments for their residents using previously provided funds. But no state has said it plans to do so, according to the New York Times, and they asked the question, why? Well, now jumping down in the article, it says this brings us back to our initial question. If the administration thinks it, quote, makes sense for high unemployment blue states to continue paying these benefits, why have none chosen to do so? Well, there are several likely reasons. And listen to this, you guys. First, the $350 billion which President Joe Biden suggested they use that was allocated from the American Rescue Plan back in March, it says... Those federal funds provided to states in March may already have been spoken for, if not fully spent. For example, New York quickly used some of the funds to provide new unemployment benefits to undocumented workers, and other states have similarly announced plans to spend these funds on local priorities. So they're saying, yes, you've given us the funds. Yes, they are not spent yet, but they've already been allocated to other programs. Now, let me know your thoughts. Could they pull some funds from those already allocated amounts and put them to federal benefits? Or is it already set and they can't change these? Either way, they're saying they're already earmarked for other things. Second, without new federal funds, the Biden administration's offer entails only higher state costs. So they're saying, if you don't fund this, this is just putting more of the financial burden on the states. Third, any state offering such benefits today would be pressed to repeat such expansions whenever temporary federal funds expire in the future. So you guys, third, they're saying, states are saying, maybe we could do this right now, but if we do, in the future, will they not provide us more federal funding and just say, you did it before in the past, why not do it again? So you guys, they're saying, they might actually have the ability to do so, but they don't want the federal government to start putting the burden on them. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but man, those are some pretty heavy reasons for not extending the federal unemployment benefits. And lastly, take a look at this final paragraph here. It says, in the end, it's no surprise that even blue states rejected the Biden administration's offer to continue providing unprecedented benefits after dedicated federal funds for them expired. Now it says the only real surprise would be if the administration actually believed that some might do it, you guys, wow. So let me know your thoughts, but you guys, what we're hearing is it is unlikely that any states will extend this out on their own, that if there's gonna be a federal extension, it's probably gonna to have to come from the federal government, President Joe Biden and Congress. So you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but that is the latest that we're hearing on federal unemployment benefits, that in the state of New Jersey, there's somebody running for governor by the name of Hoffman and she is pushing for an extension. Also, we're hearing that there are members of Congress like AOC and progressives that are saying another extension is necessary, but we're still waiting to see if they're gonna be pushing to get that included. Now, as it stands right now, for those of you that follow me here on the channel, you already know that the $3.5 trillion stimulus package that's being worked on right now does not have a federal unemployment extension included, but we will see if it gets included in there, you guys. So I'll be sure to keep you up to date either way so you know what's going on. And as always, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. If you made it this far, don't forget, smash that like button. Just takes a second. It really helps me out a ton. Leave your comments down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell if this is your first time here. I'll keep you up to date and you can join the Ram fam, you guys. And if you got any specific questions, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. And again, thank you guys so much for all the prayers. I'll keep you guys up to date, even here while I'm traveling for business, but hopefully I'll be able to go home soon and I'll be able to see the family again. But you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.